Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. USA Today says a congressional hearing today looks at a new VA scandal. The agency is now accused of sloppiness and improper work paying claims to veterans injured while serving. The VA's Office of the Inspector General is expected to testify that the VA may have overstated how much it cuts its backlog and it may have overpaid veterans hundreds of millions of dollars. The New York Times says the head of the Centers for Disease Control admits that a lax culture led to recent safety lapses. The latest revelation involves a bird flu. In March, CDC workers accidentally shipped a strain to poultry research lab run by the Department of Agriculture. Dr. Thomas Frieden says he was stunned and appalled upon learning the news. Last week, we learned CDC scientists also mishandled anthrax. The Wall Street Journal looks at the behind-the-scenes story of a $7 billion deal announced today. The agreement between Citigroup and the Justice Department resolves an investigation into risky mortgage-backed securities. But it almost fell apart last month. Federal officials didn't want a lawsuit in the case to be overshadowed by the capture of a suspect in the Benghazi attack on the same day. And from the Boston Globe, the Mary Poppins song says a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. But a new study finds that kind of imprecise measurement for the medicine can lead to potentially dangerous mistakes. It says that parents who use spoonfuls were 50% more likely to give incorrect doses than those who measured in more precise units. Maybe you've come up with a good idea leading into your segments. Oh, I'm working on it. <laughs> Doing the best I can. Singing may help. <laughs>